Hey guys, welcome to another hair and makeup. I'm jumping straight in. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in with a very small amount of foundation and um, buff it into my skin, just creating a really thin base to work on because we're trying to create a really like glowy, you know, almost ethereal type of look. Next, I'm just using this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25 just to highlight my face um, in the way that I always do, starting with chin, nose, and forehead and blending it out before I do my under eye. I really, really hate to say this. It makes me itch to say this, but this is honestly the best concealer I've actually ever used, like ever. Like, it's almost the way it just sets once it's dry like it's there it does not budge it's just there and you guys know how i feel about mac Now I'm just doing my brows with the same Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Brooklyn. Just doing the base first, the really light base before. So yeah, as I did in my previous video, just doing a very light base to work on top of. Um, a very light base to work on top of and just kind of making feathery eyebrows, just doing like staggered brush strokes um, towards the center of the brows just so that it's not too uniform. Okay, so now I'm filling in each individual hair with the LA Girl Gel Liner. I'm just using black, just so that there's a little bit of dimension, so it's not just one flat color. And now I'm just using the same MAC concealer to tidy up under my brows and um, also use it as a base for my eyeshadow. Guys, sorry, let me just reiterate like. When I say it doesn't budge, it does not budge. It's such a good concealer. Like it actually makes me so mad that I love this concealer so much.
Okay, so now I'm using this Dupe Factory 35F palette again um, with like a brownie shade. I'll put the detail down below. Um, just as a transition color, I didn't want a more orange transition color mainly because this eye look is going to be very simple, um, very neutral but shimmery at the same time. So yeah, just putting that in the crease and blending it out a little bit towards the brow bone. So yeah, now I just have to show you this gorgeous shimmery orange color. Oh my god, I live. I actually stand 100% for Dupe Factory, like no ways. Like this is what South Africa needed is dupes of like big brands, big ridiculous brands. And like their prices are so good. The pigment is so good. Like there's hardly ever any like kickback actually no there's no kickback um and there's hardly any fallout like there's such good quality shadows i don't even know what witchcraft they're using because i don't know how they're able to keep the prices so low and have such good like quality i don't get it i really don't get it but you know i'm not complaining so now i'm using this mac pro pan um refill thing in all that glitters honestly guys like it swatches horrendously um it's not that pigmented it it works but firstly that's not something that's not the kind of quality mac should be selling if they want to portray themselves as like i mean industry leaders they're flopping like uh, it's actually atrocious because i was looking at the pigments online and i was like oh my gosh these actually look really gorgeous like and i got a whole bunch of them i think i got six and they all swatched horrendously but at least it looks good on the eye like it's a really pretty color i mean you have to work with it you have to work with it quite a bit um but yeah honestly for what max says they are it's trash it's not overall trash but for what max says they are and for the price it's trash so honestly just go for something else so now i'm just highlighting um my brow bone as well as blending it into my transition color and then i'm dotting the sleek illuminator in pompeii all over my face i'm starting with one sheer layer one small layer it looks like a lot but it, it's it's a small amount and then i'm gonna buff it into my skin before going in with a second layer because i realized that it wasn't as glowy as i wanted it to be with the amount i had put initially I highlight with this uh, Ali Girl blush stick. So I'm just patting it in with my fingers. Um, I'm not usually a fan of like cream highlights, but I felt that for this type of look, it would be necessary. And then I'm setting my whole face with this hourglass, with the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer. Like I was going for a super, super glowy look, guys. Like honestly, like extremely glowy, like to no end, to no end, to no end. So now I'm using the Makeup Revolution Radiant um, Light Glow Powder to highlight my face before I... I don't know why I put on lipstick before I did everything else, but you know, I did that. So I used the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in Ginger Snap before going over it with a Wet n Wild Clear Lip Gloss just so that it was, you know, really cute and shiny and just, you know, adding to that glow, adding to the shine, you know, you get what I'm saying.
it was suggested that I do like a Korean style makeup look so instead of putting on blush the way I normally would I put it like over like over my nose and yeah over my you see what I'm you see what I'm doing I'm sorry like I'm just really terrible at explaining so now I'm just doing everyone's you know worst makeup trend like fake freckles I know everyone hates it but I just wanted to give it a try because I don't know I thought it would be cute I was kind of going for like that pumpkin patch kind of yeah actually a pumpkin patch kind of look um so just kind of working with it and just diving it out so now i'm just putting on mascara uh i literally just bought this mascara because i love lancome so i just assumed if i love most of the products that i got from them then i'll just love their mascara which i do but at the end of the, at the, end of the day i think I, I think i would love any mascara it's very hard to mess up with mascara it's mascara so now i'm putting on um my hair and makeup lashes in melodrama i combed gel into them just so that it kind of like just so that the lashes would stick together almost like when when you like been crying and your lashes stick together so i wanted that kind of look so now i'm just putting on my lashes struggling a bit but you know making the things to happen and then i'm gonna apply lower lashes which you're gonna see me really struggle with i fixed it off camera but yeah you you'll see just mess upon mess okay so now i'm just spraying my hair i just wanted the hair to look greasy and just like i don't know like i wanted everything to just look white and you know there's the look there done bam pow baby Work me, God damn it. Work me, God damn it.